Hi, Michael Dolce here to talk to you about the EFEN. The EFEN is a battery powered, remote controlled, 10 inch fin that will work in any center fin box. It has four speeds. It's run off of a lithium battery. It connects to the deck of your board. So let's talk about the E-Fin. So the E-Fin is a molded 10 inch fin. It's battery operated. It's got a magnetic motor and it will go in any fin box. It's a standard fin box. This particular fin box is from an inflatable. So if you have a single or multi-person Inflatable, good to go. If you had a hard board, this is our glider, no problem. Works in all boards with a standard center fin box. Now let me give you the particulars on uh, our E-Fin. It's remarkable, you'll want them. Your customers will want them. So again, it's a 10 inch fin, magnetic motor, four speeds, that is remote control operated by a lithium battery that tethers to your board. And as you can see, the magnetic motor has a connector cord that will go from the bottom of the board into a waterproof battery case. There's an on off switch. The on switch, by the way, is on the different side than the charger. The charger switch, which this comes with a charger, is on the opposite side. The length uh, or life of this battery is good up to six hours. The weight is under 10 pounds, and the MSRP for this is $699. So let me talk about options for connecting the battery. The first thing that I put on actually was the battery. This battery is on our glider. All our gliders, if you notice, have several plugs to mount. The rear plugs for ours are security plugs. So I can use a one inch strap and that's what I've done here. And I've tethered it through so that it holds the battery. I always connect through the carry handle, so for extra security. And you can see this is snug and it's not going anywhere. So you see the cord, the cord is going underneath. I could go to the side, but it comes from the fitting on the front of the fin and goes behind the board into the connection port. And this needs to be tight. One piece of information about the battery is you notice it has a screw that holds the case shut. You never open that. It will void the warranty as this is ISA waterproof and breaking the seal always voids the warranty. The other thing I'll say about this handle is that it also, I use a leash on that handle in case I fall off the board there is no automatic shutoff, therefore if you fall off the board, you want to be using a remote control. And you want to be in range for that remote control to cut off the motor. So, if in fact you don't have tie downs, since we're talking about tethering the battery, the other option would be, and this is analogous to your board, is to strap the battery on with a same kind of, of tie down. And these um, web tie downs would go all the way around your board. This would be, I would recommend in front of your fin so the battery couldn't slide. If you have more questions on the E-Fin or you'd like to place a, an order, Contact us at 1-800-969-7473, and stay tuned. We'll be doing a podcast very soon uh, showing you what I've just gone over. 
Thank you for your time. The E-Fin, a game changer by Dulcie Designs.